Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I am going to be making overnight dough. So I gotta make the dough right now so then I can make them when I wake up in the morning. And it came together pretty quickly. I made one adjustment in the recipe. So you know, if you've never been to my channel, you've never seen me, my name is Ara. I am a chef instructor, I cook online. And I also make these fun videos about cooking. And right now I'm in the middle of my month of doing only Food 52 videos with the occasional video of me being bored of doing Food 52 videos. So please keep watching and enjoy. So in here I have four and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon of active soft dry yeast, one tablespoon of salt, half a cup of sugar, and then I have one cup of milk with a tablespoon removed, four eggs, and one egg yolk. And I'm going to mix the dry ingredients first. And it seems like the dough comes together pretty quickly. I'm just going to mix all the dry ingredients. And this is, um, it's a Danish whisk. It's like a dough whisk. You can get it on Amazon. Super easy to have. And then I have the amount of butter. This is nine tablespoons of butter instead of the full 18. I just feel like that's a lot of butter. And so it's softened butter. And I'm just kind of using the whisk to kind of break it up. And it says to use like a mixer, but if you have one of these, you don't like have um, a sand mixer, this works really well too. I just kind of mix it all up. And once I got most of the clumps here, I'm gonna add all this in. And it's a pretty easy mix. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this together. And I love this dough whisk because then you don't have to pull out a whole entire thing. Oof. And the nice thing about this guy is you just kind of can take it and just like scoop it off. Okay, so I'm going to take my spatula here and I'm just going to knead that dough in a little more. And I'm going to cover this. And this is going to be kind of like a wet, a wet dough. And it says an hour and a half. And you can make it the day before. I think this needs more flour. This definitely, yeah, it's like super wet. Oh my god. Okay, I added another half cup of flour. Let me show you. Ooh. Because this dough is really rich. So I'm going to turn this out. And I'm going to go ahead and knead this. Until it's smooth. And it's a rich dough. Just want to make sure that it is smooth. So I'm just adding more flour in. I'm glad I didn't use all that butter. So I feel like the butter would have been too much. And I'm just going to knead this. Okay, so my dough is smooth. And it has a spring back to it. I kneaded it for about five minutes. I'm going to put this back in this bowl cover it and it's going to sit overnight or it can sit on here for about an hour and a half. Good morning everybody! I actually woke up like an hour ago but I am ready to go ahead and make my cinnamon rolls. I hope you are ready too. I heard that and so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have prepared um, but the one thing I will tell you about the cinnamon rolls is I'm going to actually take some of them 
um, and put them to the side and I'm going to freeze them and I'm going to show you how to freeze those. So if you are not looking to make all of them at once and you're trying to kind of stretch them out so you can like make some of them, definitely do, do this method. And also another thing too is with the cinnamon roll recipe, I actually cut the butter in half. I only use 9 tablespoons of butter, not 18. I just thought it was a lot. And since I've never made this dough before, I wasn't sure if it was going to rise correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what my dough looks like and how I'm going to go ahead and roll this. So here is my dough. So you saw from the night before it actually rose um, like all the way up. So it rose 50%, like doubled in size. And then in here I have um, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of... Um, sugar and also a tablespoon of cinnamon and um, a couple pinches of nutmeg in here for the filling and then I took a 9 by 12 pan and just buttered it so I'm gonna put 12 rolls in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, preheat my oven once I have it rolled out because then I'm gonna heat it for a half an hour um, it needs to proof for another half an hour once I roll it and I have a feeling that this is gonna be a very sticky dough. So I'm just gonna flour it really well. Cause it was really sticky last night. I actually had to add about um, another half cup of flour. If you weigh it, like there's an option to weigh it. Um, you can weigh it as well. I did not use a mixer. I used my Danish hook, my Danish whisk. Um, to, to do this. Just want to get that dough out. It's a very soft dough, too, as well. So, um, you want to be gentle with it. some cake pan so I'll do one cake pan as well and that that way I can freeze one so you had to freeze it but if you've never made cinnamon rolls it can be like it can be a little intimidating um, especially to it's a rich dough and rich doughs tend to be um, difficult on that end okay so I floured it, <clears throat> and yeah, this actually, this boost block I got working when I was at Sir Le Tom, because I had been there for um, five years, so when you work there for five years, you actually get a booze block, which I think is pretty cool. Ooh, this is like... A very soft dough. So I'm looking at this to be about a quarter of an inch um, thickness. I'm gonna have to lift this a little bit just because I need to be able to work these edges here. gonna roll this across here oh that's beautiful this is really pretty though actually it's really pretty um, so I like the thickness of this this is about a quarter of an inch all the way through okay I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video for a second and then I'm gonna grab an egg Okay, so here's my dough. Let me focus here. And I have one egg and a brush. 
And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush this all with egg. And that's just so that um, the inside, the filling will stick to it. So, just going all the way to the edge, like, you know, like paint. You don't have to add any water to it, because I just do this whole section here. Just make sure it's wet enough so that it'll stick. And then I'm just going to take this mixture here. And I'm actually using um, Swerve. I'm not using um, just a regular sugar. I just, I mean, I guess since I could have just used regular sugar, but you can do a sugar substitute if you want. This is a definite like Sunday kind of brunch style thing to do is the cinnamon rolls. And once you have it relatively like covered, then it's going to be like a burrito tuck. So I'm going to start from the edge here and fold and then it's just like a tight roll. Okay. Tight roll. The way this camera is, I have to like roll it towards me. So I have to roll this in here. Okay, perfect. Look at that. So this makes, it says 12 big rolls. This is going to make more than 12. I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. Okay. Um, what you can do too is I've seen people use like string too before. I want them to be about an inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And um, I got this at the Dollar Tree. I know they have different ones. Let me get, see how it kind of pushes in like that? that I'm gonna get, roll? no, it's cinnamon rolls. I'm gonna use my knife, because it's nice and sharp. Pizza roll. So that way it doesn't smash it. No, it's not pizza roll, pizza. it's cinnamon roll. I want pizza roll. No. Yes. Cinnamon roll. No pizza. Cinnamon. 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 Yeah, cinnamon. Pizza. Oh, no, not pizza. And just cutting them. That way the knife doesn't, um, because the knife doesn't crush the rolls. So, I'm going to finish cutting these. Oh, they look so good already. I'm so excited. Look how pretty those look. And I let the dough just sit overnight. My kitchen's really cold. So um, if your kitchen is like 65, 70 degrees, it's fine. If you're worried, just put it in the fridge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make one pan and the other pan I'm going to um, stick in the freezer. Okay. Awesome. So here's my cinnamon rolls. I have a buttered pan already. And I am just going to do three in a row. Oh, I'm excited. I'm like really excited for these cinnamon rolls. So here's what they look like right now. So I have one pan of this and I'm going to put this in the freezer so that that way too what I what I'll do is um, I'll just defrost it overnight 
if I want to go ahead and make these again. But it's a great way if you have like three of these pans. This is a great make ahead um, situation that would work really well. Um, you can do three of these a nine inch pans um, and they'd work great to have your cinnamon rolls. So the next thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven at 375 and then um, I'm going to let these rest for a half an hour before I go ahead and put them in the oven. I have the cinnamon rolls in the oven. I have a quarter cup of um, powdered sugar and then a teaspoon of vanilla and some heavy cream, a tablespoon of heavy cream in here. And I'm just going to mix this together. And it will thin out a little bit. So it's like a frosting. I'm going to put a little bit of powder, some um, some more heavy cream in here really quick. Okay, so I have it more like an icing now, so I can spread. Oh my god, look at these guys. So they were in there for about 20 minutes. And I made the dough the night before, so I didn't really have to proof because it had already been proofing um, for a while. So I only did 10 minutes on the counter. And I'm just going to, you know, do the thing. Because, hi. Oh. What. In the heck. Are you so jealous right now? You wish you were in my kitchen. You wish you were eating these. Because I know you do. I know you wish you could jump out of the screen and eat one of my cinnamon rolls. Because this looks so good. So the recipe turned out really well. Um, I think it really works. It's, it's a night before recipe that makes it a lot easier. So if you're planning this for a brunch, I think this is a really good um, recipe to do ahead of time. Because the put together... Putting everything together, rolling it out, honestly only took five minutes. So really recommend doing this ahead of time. Um, you can even roll it out the night before, cut them, put them in the pan, and then just bake them in the morning. But those, I mean, those look so good. I'm just really excited. I want to take one out. I know I'm going to burn my mouth, but... They look amazing. I'm also making breakfast for Kevin, so it's kind of... These cinnamon rolls are so pretty. Let's take a, a nice close-up here. So you can see how good they look. So you can be extra jealous of how good they look. Okay.